Hi everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Let's drink some beers, shall we? I am drinking my uh, B52 box from, from April um, and I'm picking them by just randomly picking my hand into a box and pulling one out. So, next one up is ah, oh, this one looks really nice. This is uh, Rabbit Pants, it's a black IPA. This was the club, I think, wasn't it? Yes, this is a collaboration between uh, Coolhead from uh, Finland, who I've never had before, never had any of the beers, and Wild Beer Co. Um, from uh, Bristol. Um, I think I said on the unboxing video that uh, you might have seen Wild Beer. Um, their biggest, one of the biggest selling ones, I think, was Pogo, or one of the really nice ones called Pogo. Uh, you get a lot of their stuff um, in Sainsbury's. I've seen it a lot in Sainsbury's anyway. Uh, yes, this is the uh, Coolhead and uh, Wild Beer collaboration, a black IPA coming in at uh, 5% um, ABV. So, this is probably one of the more interesting um, ones to come out of the box and probably one of the more interesting styles. So, it is uh, a black IPA, so it will pour dark. So what you want with this style, or I'm no judge of beer, uh, well, I think I'm a slight ju good judge of beer, uh, but what you want is um, some nice dark roasted malt uh, flavours and profiles to come through. But you also want, to, because it is an IPA, you're wanting some of those hops to shine through as well. So it's got to be really well balanced. And I think with with black IPAs, probably that's one of the trickiest things to do is to get that roasted malt and then the IPA stuff at the other side of that to, to come through as well. Because roasted malts, if you think about your stouts, your porters can be quite overbearing. So that's poured. Looks like a dark brown actually from here. So that's poured quite a dark brown with a tan um, foamy head. Looks nice. If that was a, so this is poured with, this is brewed with um, dark malts. And this is one of those things that, you know, if that came out as a, a porter or a stout, he'd be disappointed because it just looks thin. But it has got that IPA side to it, so it's, you know, I'd expect it to be a little bit thinner. So that looks good. Let's get the aroma, shall we? Interesting, not a lot of the malt is coming through. Or maybe my nose is ignoring that. There's, there is a little bit of. I think it's mainly mango that's coming through. But it has got that almost like a bitter coffee edge to it as well. It smells interesting. It is an unusual, a very unusual beer style. Because if I'm being honest, that smells a little bit but like burnt tyres. Burnt rubber, that, that sort of thing. But it, it is the mango and it is that malt's just, just playing together a little bit. Hopefully it'll taste a little bit better than that, but we'll soon find out. Cheers everybody. That is nice. For black IPA, that is very nice. I can tell you now, that's one of the best black IPAs I've had. It's mildly roasted, very mildly roasted, but like I said, you, it's, it's wanting that balance between the roastiness and the hoppiness. So it, it, it is mild on the roastness. There's hints of chocolate in there. There's hints of coffee. Now I'm getting a little bit of uh, coffee bitterness. It's earthy from the hops. It's smoky from the malts. It's piney from the hops. There's some, uh, there's a, like, like the aroma, there's a nice bit of um, mango coming through, which is hoppy as well.
that is a very interesting style and a very nice um, very nice beer so like I say it looks a bit stouty um, <coughs> but it's actually got the flavour of more of a really dry probably why I coughed piney IPA It's smooth. There's a nice bit of carbonation. Just leave a little tingle on the tongue. It's slightly sweet. Slightly sweet and just a really nice. Um, which is going to be a long, bitter aftertaste, and maybe there is something piney in there because that 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 bitterness is feeling quite dry and piney. Though I didn't pick anything up like that on the aroma or, or the initial um, gulps of that. That's nice. I like that a lot. Um, just wonder if it tells you. It does say balance between hops, powered citrus. Wasn't really picking up any citrus for me, you know, some tropical fruit. So the mango I could pick up as that. Uh, smooth dark malts and more uh, and a Moorish drinkability. Yeah, I wasn't picking up any citrus really. It doesn't mention any pineiness in there. It doesn't mention what hops are used. So I'd be interested to see what hops are used in this. But that's a nice drink. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed that a lot. So, um, Rabbit Pants. I'm going to give you a 9 out of 10. That's a 9 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews. Whatever beer you're drinking, please enjoy them until the next review. Cheers, everybody.